Ooh. Looks like I mostly missed the trailer. Well, our tow rig. You know, I was sick of dodging shit, so I just rammed it. Yeah, literally rammed. Yeah, it's, it's pretty jacked, bud. So the See spring, the bow on the spring? The spring is bowed real bad. Um, one our, of the bolts came out of the, it ripped a bolt out of the track bar out of the frame. Um, this stuff all kind of took a good beating down here on the frame, you see? frame took a beating the frame you can actually see it's twisted here it got you know the tie rod and the end link and everything there so jamie had a guy pull out in front of him last night yeah. leaving the shop right down the street here yeah i was driving north dang it dude and i topped a hill and i was like there's a truck and trailer coming you know going west and i was like man he's going pretty fast i was like oh shit he's not gonna stop so i laid on the brakes it was an old 86 chevy dually with a car trailer the bed was full of stuff it looked like they robbed a junkyard bed was full over the cab so he blocked the whole road so like when i got to him the hitch was at like the center line of the road yeah so the whole thing was blocked and i couldn't make the turn i didn't want to hit the trailer because i figured that might turn into a ramp situation so just hit the truck the ranch so, hand if you look here pushed hard the ranch hand is supposed to be in line with the dodge emblem yeah and this is supposed to be under yeah. over here like that's how far shove over that it thing. is shove the whole front end over oh my gosh yeah. and we've got a race in a week and we've got fl2k and ice cream yeah. cruise and all so this stuff this coming thing, up this thing's supposed to we don't have another truck to pull the big trailer yep. back there so this is supposed to go to carney friday then we come back then we're supposed to go to ice cream cruise and then it doesn't come back after that because it goes to fl2k and then we fly home yeah fly back get it and go to world cup drive it back it stays in florida until at least christmas but and I all think this, this is going to be a total yeah, i do too with the whole front end shifted that way the bumper did save a lot yeah your bags didn't go yeah, so bags didn't go no and it didn't get into any of the coolers any of the cores anything yeah it didn't lose any fluids but no. but frames jack son of i a... take this after over you know what it would have been without this bumper though yeah it would have been bad. you're just a little sore but not too bad yeah, i'm a little sore like my my left wrist a little bit my right hand came off the wheel and i hit like i've got my phone mount for my gps and the dash hit that my little position thing for the tuner kind of caught my leg this was like 10 30 11 at 10 night 30 you know you yeah. left and then i kind of did some stuff on my computer and hung out with the boys for a while and then all right i'm gonna head home dang it all right we're trying to get shown up ready for nebraska we've been trying to go through this fuel system steven just dumped the return line out and that's what he got and what else do you find because you were taking the fittings off Look at that right there. All the fittings have been eaten by the fuel. And this thing does not sit with fuel in it. It yeah. never has. But these are all chewed up and eaten. But these are like the same fittings that are on mine, on Jamie's, on all of them. Shane's. And this one runs the least. Yeah. You guys better all just be checking your stuff. I even blew air through this. Yeah, two seconds ago, right before I started taking it apart. Yeah. Got nothing out of it. Nothing. And I flipped it over, hit it with my hand, and that all came out of it. It is crazy. It's all right. This it's one. got all the junk from... But yeah, it does have the powder from the other one. What's it look like? It's crazy. inside the whole hose, so... Yeah. I mean, at least this one's reusable. <laughs> yeah. But do you? Yeah, but do you? Bunch of junk. There we go. 
Jeez, look at it. Hammered. Hammered. Well, I don't like pulling the pump off, but I'm gonna have to pull the pump off. Yep. Sometimes you you gotta do what you gotta do. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Sure enough, keeps fighting, don't it? It never sits with fuel in it. Never. So I'm not really sure, so. All right, got the pump off. We're gonna pull the pump apart and see what's going on inside here as well. Seems like any junk in it. Yeah, and then we're gonna look at the filter too. This was a brand new uh, stainless filter, welding filter. This is just driving me insane. It isn't used enough to where this all should be an issue, but it is, so. I'm not sure what corroded it. What would have made it so corrosive that it happened so quickly? Especially compared to like our cars, because it's all the same fittings. Yeah. Yeah, Jamie's. Shane has done um, multiple race weeks. I mean, that thing. And, it, and that was it, straight methanol also. Yeah. Save that o ring. You guys are finding some nasty stuff today. The face of this doesn't look that crazy, you know? Yeah. This is like a pressed in off. piece. I wonder if is the that fitting the fuel from... that I'm smelling? Yeah. Yeah. It well, nice. I put pump gas in. Yeah, he was running. Okay, pump I was like, what is this? We were cleaning it with pump gas. It smells so bad. Yeah, we just put pump gas in it to run oh, okay. it a little. While we were trying to clean it before we popped everything apart. That's bad, I could smell that. Yeah. Did you open that filter up yet? No. No, that's. I'm curious. Here. That, that was next on For running for, what, two minutes? I mean, yeah. I brought it up to temperature. That's yeah. all I did. All right, so just pulled the top rail. We're gonna check these injectors out. That'll tell me if I need to do the bottom set as well, so. Okay, so what I'm initially seeing as I pull this out, see how silver the injector is there? Ooh. Those have filters in the injectors. So look in there. Oh my gosh, That's that white dude, look dust in everywhere. there. Can you see in there? No. Unfortunately. Where's your light, dude? I'm trying to oh, zoom. Right. The dude is so sparkly in there. All right, well, I'll just pull the manifold. We're gonna have to pull the bottoms too. That pretty much gives me the tail off. Yeah. We gotta go in deep. Steven just built a couple new lines. He's getting all that done. Goofy's over here building some um, drive shaft loops. loops for the CRX. We're gonna watch ours so we can reinforce the takeout ramp. <laughs> takeout ramp. Oh, ugh. Throwing some power behind that, huh? Yeah, these ones are a little tight. Got a couple new fittings down there, new line. Placing everything I'm about to clean out the fuel rails. Put it back together, fire it up, check the fuel, make sure we're good. It is a process. Mm. You're just too good at them. The building's fun, all right? I'm putting them on. <laughs> all right, so this part's a little hard because it takes two hands, but we are slowing them individually backwards without the filters in them. Make sure we get everything cleaned out of them, then we'll put some filters in, roll on from there. All right, let's try this again after back flowing them. All right, so we're 80, 80, 82, and 81. So about 80, 81, 82, 81. That's pretty darn close now. Watch the dust, Steven. Watch 
Watch this. That wasn't too bad. Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh. This one did real bad. The other one was a big... Remember to run pump gas through your stuff, kids. Go around on these. Vaseline. Alright. And I put the intake manifold back together. All right, we're gonna put it on the car. Fueling it, let's charge the battery and then we're gonna crank this baby over. And hopefully, we won't be more material going into the tank. Uh, we've got new lines, we got we went through all the lines, we went through the fuel rails, we cleaned everything, cleaned the fuel tank, cleaned the fuel filter, cleaned the fuel pump, uh, the fuel pressure regulator. So, everything has been gone through. As you guys saw all those fittings came apart. Uh, so, now We'll, uh, let's maybe charge up for a second, and then I'll crank it, build some fuel pressure, check inside the tank, hopefully it's clean. Ugh, oh, I'm praying. That'll work. It's moving all the way Oh, those look great. Those are fantastic. Virgil has outdid himself. Those look so good. Got all our trophies for Carney this weekend. Brother. Oh, fantastic, man. I like them. They look yeah. Good. You're so talented. This is just fantastic. Now we get to put them all together. But man, they look fresh. See that down on top of that? Oh, you, buddy. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and crank it, check for leaks, build pressure, uh, and... We're gonna check the fuel tank and make sure we don't have any bits getting put back in the tank. So I'm gonna crank it. Don't see any of the turn either. Alright, so I made a little pump gas map. Um, let's go ahead and try it and uh, see if it'll run on this. Alright, let's try it.
I just took it apart, laid everything out. I didn't run pump gas through it because it was broken, but I figured it was a part. It didn't seem to matter. The oil pressure, the fuel pressure. I'm happy about all this. Run some pump is probably pretty good for these injectors anyway, you know. there we go oh let's check the tank ourselves and uh see what we're doing with. hopefully it looks good steven gave it the head nod so i trust what he says but you know basically when it broke at ifo last year and i got back and did all the damper stuff and pulled it all apart pulled the engine out and intake manifold laid everything out uh there just had to be a little bit of methanol that was still in there just ate things away I mean, I would think having the fuel lines all off and everything out, methanol would have evaporated. But there's somewhere timeline time somewhere in there, um, it got left with enough fuel in there to just eat those fittings to bits. But uh, we made it through it. We got we we, oh, we overcame uh, this obstacle and. Uh, um, I feel like I'll, maybe I'll run a couple more times and then I'll put methanol in it and then check the two-step and uh, just go through the, that stuff and then load it. And then we should be ready for carning this weekend. So that's the goal. Whew. So much going on here. It's looking pretty good. Maybe hard to see on camera, but it does look all right. So... Whew, crisis averted. Definitely gonna keep monitoring that. And, uh, you know, I just don't wanna have any problems. What's that? It looks okay. All right, we're just running it again. Just wanna kinda bring it up to temp, make sure no more trash gets into the fuel, the fuel tank. Yeah, up and down, up and down. It's just a jam nut, but... Little oil pressure. 96. Let's go, boys. We're out here working hard, that's for sure. Trying to get that stuff done. We got racing to do this weekend. Kind of thinking about putting Steven in the seat. His car isn't going to be done, but at the same time I want to drive, so maybe we'll take turns. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'd really love to see what he can do, you know. I do this a lot for my boys. You know, I like to inspire them and drive them to push themselves. So. You know, that's a lot of this. I love it too. Though. You know, the boys is everything. Since Speedfast Pueblo, you went through, pulled the trans, redid, checked flywheel bolts, they were fine. Yep. Um, reset the clutch. Reset the clutch, put the trans back in, checked the fluid. Whole fuel system got fixed, injectors yeah. got fixed, top hats got changed on the bottom, so everything's got screens now. New filter, new fuel filter. New fuel filter, you fixed the O ring on there. On the roller, we got a. Your Tighten the jam nut, that's annoying. I mean, it's, it's just hilarious. a secondary I would jam say it's nut. annoying. It's very mesmerizing. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is kind of entertaining. Well, I need to stare forward, not yeah, at the I'm nut. That, like, while you're driving, you'll be able to see it. And just, like, watch it go up and down. So yeah. Driving. Oh, I forgot to pull the chute. I was looking at that nut. Just kidding. <laughs> Stupid. All right. Well, that's where we're at in life. A couple little things. Scan and pan. and. I just do it by hand. I got a good. My hand drives me nuts. I forgot a valve cover leak. That's your valve cover. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's right. it's out of the the other thing. It's, thing's, out, of it's out of the sensor. It's not that. That doesn't leak. That's tight. Man. You, yeah, that you get my hand on that. This is as good as a crescent wrench. Most of the case, most of the time. It's like years of practice. Yeah. <laughs> Jack off Olympics coming at coming. I see, see, <laughs> Dicey C. 
Yeah, if, if we have an oil down, we're gonna have to do jack off limits. Did you hear that? If we get an oil down and it takes a long time to clean, you guys are on jack off Olympic duty. <laughs> You're gonna cause it just so we can have it? Oh, whoever causes it. Oh, whoever caused the oil down versus Mario and Shane at Jack Off Olympics. What'd you say? Yeah, I'm sure I caught it on camera. Someone will get in the comments and tell me what he said. All right, guys, I'm tired. I need to make a video. Our race is coming up fast and we got a lot going on. So I'm out of here. Give us likes, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. We'll see you guys later. off at the minute here comes jordan with the oh man he lost the handle he's only got half a handle this is intense folks half a handle he's being beamed by balloons at the same time morrow is seriously struggling